This is a list of notable role-playing game artists, past and present. The people in this list created artwork for one or more notable, published role-playing game book, miniature, or other product. A Jason Bandit Adams, Desolation RPG by Greymalkin Designs, Mongoose Publishing series such as Traveler, Conan, Elric and others, as well as Hero Games titles. Attila Adorjani, his work has appeared in comics, video games, film, TV, and role-playing games including products by White Wolf, Wizards of the Coast, Fantasy Flight Games, and Steve Jackson Games. Dave Alsop, his art appears in games for Wizards of the Coast and his own creation SLA Industries for Nightfall Games Glenn Angus Samuel Araya, his published cover art includes Unknown Armies Second Ed. Atlas Games, Weapons of the Gods Eos Press, Tibet, the role-playing game Vajra Enterprises, along with various White Wolf, World of Darkness titles and All Flesh Must Be Eaten supplements. Topic B. Arnold Ballester, main art designer in the Barcelona Jock Internacional Publishing House, painted covers for Leader Jock Internacional's magazine, Game Master's Screens RuneQuest, designed logos, including the Leader logo and the Spanish translation logo for Stormbringer Ghislaine Barb, several White Wolf products, including titles from the Exalted setting George Barr Thomas Baxa Dennis Bove Carlo Boccia also known as Jack Rain, Dungeons & Dragons Tim Bradstreet, many early White Wolf projects, most notably Vampire, The Masquerade Brom, many TSR products predominantly Dark Sun, Palladium Books covers, the inspiration for Deadlands Frank Brunner, illustrated different editions of Stormbringer Jeff Butler. C Clyde Caldwell Matt Cavada Douglas Chaffee Javier Charo, illustrated for Mongoose, Fantasy Flight Games, Hero Games, Mythic Dreams Miguel Coimbra Jim Crabtree Dennis Kramer Carl Critchlow D Ned Dameron Liz Danforth, Tunnels and Trolls artist Stephen Daniele Jean Day, cover art of the first Call of Cthulhu edition 1981. Jeff D, many early TSR products, including deities and demigods Eric Deschamps Brian Despain Tony Deterlizzi, many early TSR products including second edition Monster Manual and Planescape series Larry Dixon Vincent Dutrait, Dragon Magazine, Call of Cthulhu, The Dark Eye, Warhammer FRPG E Jeff Easley, many early TSR products including the Dragonlance series, and the cover to the second edition of the Player's Handbook Steve Ellis, many White Wolf products, most notably Werewolf, many Wizards of the Coast projects, Dungeons & Dragons, Magic the Gathering and Kaijudo Larry Elmore, many early TSR products, including the Dragonlance series Wayne England Jason Engel Newton Ewell F Stephen Fabian Emily Feigenshu Fred Fields Scott Fisher Phil Foglio, GURPS IOU, SPANC. The XX Xenophile Card Game Carl Frank Ken Frank Dan Frazier Frank Kelly Fries G Rafael Garays Donato Giancola Lars Grant West Rebecca Guay H Brian Hagen Henry Higginbotham The Brothers Hildebrandt Jim Holloway Quinton Hoover Daniel Horn Ralph Horsley David Hudnut Topic 
I Fraser Irving Topic J. Kennan James, published Art Includes Work for Wizards of the Coast, Sabretooth Games, 2, Paul Jacquet's Jeremy Jarvis Andrew Johansson, Fantasy Flight Games, 3, Leaf Jones, Numerous Illustrations for White Wolf's Vampire, Werewolf, and Mage, Sword and Sorcery Studios, AEG, Necromancer Games, Holistic Design, Mythic Dreams, 4, Veronica V. Jones. Topic K. Michael William Kaluta Dana Knutson Doug Kovach Topic L. David S. LaForce John and Laura Lakey Hubert de Lartigue, Illustrated Covers, Sourcebooks and Supplements in the French Gaming Industry, such as the French translations of RuneQuest, Land of Ninja, and Stormbringer. Some of his covers were used in publications in other languages, like his RuneQuest supplement cover Genertela, used in the United States and Spain Rob Lazaretti April Lee, cover and interior art for a variety of titles including Legend of the Five Rings and Seventh Sea Alderac, in nominee Steve Jackson Games, and Kingdoms of Calamar Kenzer and Co. 5 Jody Lee, cover art for the third edition of RuneQuest 1984 and the first of Pendragon 1985. Vince Locke Todd Lockwood Eric Lofgren, credits include magazine articles, interior illustrations, and cover art including the cover art for Steve Jackson Games' GURP Steam Tech and Hero Games's Champions Viper, Kevin Long, premier artist at Palladium Books from 1986 to 1995 whose work on Rifts and Robotech are foremost among his wide-ranging contributions to Palladium's earlier RPG series, which include Beyond the Supernatural, Heroes Unlimited, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Roger Loveless Howard Leone M. Diana Magnuson Max, pen name of Francis Capdevila, who signed numerous covers and inner illustrations for Leader Jock Internationales magazine. Angus McBride, main illustrator of the MURP series of rulebooks, sourcebooks and supplements David O. Miller Raven Mamura Jeff Miracola Matthew Mitchell Topic N. Jim Nelson Mark Nelson Russ Nicholson Terry's Nielsen, famous for her magic, the gathering card illustrations, did the cover artwork for the Dungeons & Dragons setting Jackandor in 1998 Jackandor, Land of Legend and Jackandor, Isle of Destiny. In 1998 she illustrated the covers of three issues of Dragon and several Forgotten Realms novels. In 1999 she started illustrating covers for the Seventh Sea role-playing game. Topic O. William O'Connor, Errol Otis, many early TSR products including S3, Expedition to Barrier Peaks. Topic P. Keith Parkinson, Lucio Perillo, Jim Pavelitz, Michael Filippi. Eric Pollock, Alan Pollock, Randy Post, Steve Prescott, Stephanie Pui Moon Law, Steve Purcell, several covers for the Different Worlds magazine and RuneQuest supplements. Topic R. Vinod Rams, Roger Raup, Adam Rex, Wayne Reynolds. David Roach Jennifer Rogers, illustrations for publishers, including Blue Devil Games, Decipher Inc. Adept Press, and Anvilworks 6. Jim Rosloff Luis Royo, painted some covers for Spanish role-playing games, 1st edition Fuerza Delta and 2nd edition Far West Topic S. Richard Sardinha Christopher Shy Kevin Simbita, worked at Judges Guild illustrating adventure modules for Dungeons & Dragons, RuneQuest, and Traveler, 1979-1981. After founding Palladium Books, his art and cartography were featured in the Mechanoid Invasion, 1st edition Palladium Fantasy and Heroes Unlimited, and early Rifts titles Dan Smith, interior art for GURPS books Mark Smilly Brian Snotty John T. Snyder Ron Spencer Ann Stokes David C. 
Sutherland III, Early TSR Products and Book Covers, A Paladin in Hell Arnie Sweckel Tony Studlow T Jean-Pierre Target Ben Templesmith Miles Teves, Sky Realms of Jorun, later became a renowned Hollywood conceptual artist Joel Thomas David A. Trampier, TSR Hobbies staff illustrator, creator of Wormy, a comic strip that ran in the Dragon magazine, infamous for mysteriously vanishing for decades before resurfacing in a newspaper interview as a cab driver Timothy Truman, TSR Hobbies staff illustrator early 1980s Francis Sai Topic V. Valerie Velusic, Susan Van Camp, John Van Canahem, responsible for the Might and Magic series, Franz Vowinkel. Topic W. Kev Walker, Carl Waller, Kevin Waston. Anthony S. Waters Tom Wham Michael Whalen, many TSR products including Second Edition Player's Handbook and Dungeon Master's Guide, his Elric illustration for the 1977 revised edition of the Stormbringer novel was used by Chaosium to illustrate the fourth edition 1990 of the Stormbringer role-playing game. Chuck Wellen Eva Widerman Bill Willingham, many early Golden Age TSR products, notably the Basic and Advanced Dungeons and Dragons rulebooks, wrote and drew the Elementals comics, scripted the Fables comic series Robin Wood Sam Wood Ben Wooten Why Kieran Yoner, has been published by Decipher, Inc., Dream Pod 9, Even Studios, Inc. Fantasy Flight Games, Necromancer Games, Steve Jackson Games, Sword and Sorcery Studios, Troll Lord Games and White Wolf 7.